Hi everyone, welcome to another session of One on One with Moja2. My name is Maria Njeri. Uh, I'm a Moja2 beneficiary. I'm a Moja2 beneficiary and I'm taking a Bachelor of Communication and Media Studies. I joined Moja2 in 2018 and I'll be graduating next year, which I'm so excited about. And joined with me today uh, are the university seniors who are also finishing or some have graduated. And I will let David start by introducing himself. Hello, my name is David Vitao. I'm a finalist uh, in no, Kenyatta University, uh, pursuing a course in Bachelor of Science, Mathematics and Computer Science. I joined Moja2 in 2018 when I was joining campus. Uh, and the journey has been great. Uh, my sponsor name is Kawaja Shams. And I'm okay. grateful for him and Moja2 overall. Yeah. Felix. My, my name is Felix. I joined Moja2 uh, in the year 2014 when I was joining my my uh, my high school. And my sponsor uh, name is Abby and James. Um, thank you for them. And I'm, I've graduated uh, with a diploma uh, with a diploma in business information technology. And uh, this year I have graduated with a, a bachelor degree in business information technology. Yeah, and currently I'm doing internship in Aga Khan Hospital. Thank you, Mojatu. And speaking of that, like, how did it feel to finally like be able to achieve your goal, like finishing school, graduating, and now going to the next step, which is the job market? How did you feel, Felix? I, I feel so, so, so good. Mm -hmm. And I can say that uh, it's something that I was dreaming of and that I was always focused to achieve. And I had I had to put all my my discipline, my my efforts to make sure that I have achieved my goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's nice. Uh, now that, uh, you've spoken about that you are in, you are in you are in an internship right now. Uh, how is the experience right now? How how is that going? The, the experience is something which which is i can say is awesome uh, something mm -hmm. very very wonderful and something i've also been aspiring to be uh, doing i have been wishing to have an organization where i can do practical things that i've learned from the school yeah and i'm feeling so so well to interact with the with the machines and all type of people and mostly yeah. in a very well organized organization. I really appreciate being there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And speaking of, of attachment and internships, uh, I was doing my attachment at Parents Magazine. And while I was there, I picked up key lessons. And one of them was you have to be fearless. While yeah. you are chasing your dreams, you have to be fearless because it comes a time that you may be faced with challenges and you are like afraid of asking for help, but it taught me that I had to be fearless. Uh, <laughs> what are some of the key lessons that you, Felix, you have learned while being in your university and now transitioning to the job market? One of the lessons that I've learned uh, while I'm, I was in ZTEC is that you must be a disciplined student. Mm -hmm. and always be a student be, be saying uh, uh, talking about being student is that you be ready to learn so uh at ztech you must be a disciplined person uh from clothing from talking mm -hmm. so it's so uh, always about discipline and then focus yeah. uh, another thing is about our motto where we it's, it talks about inventing our your future so i've, I've been always focusing on my future and then if you're focused about future, you will be focused in what you are doing currently. So yeah. I was really focused on my studies and I really, I really I was ready to tackle everything to make sure that I've done what it takes me to succeed. Yeah. Ah, that's nice. Uh, those are great values that you have yeah. learned. Uh, 
uh, speaking of uh, about your school life, uh, you you have done both diploma and degree at the same time, and that is an achievement because not most of the diploma do the degree at the same time. So, how was your experience doing both of them at the same time? Yeah, tell us. Yeah, yeah. Once again, I will say it takes always discipline because I started with the main people where we were doing diplomas and now they have not even made it. Mm -hmm. A number of a good number of them yes. they have not made. It. So it takes discipline and just focus with one thing at a time. So oh, that's what I keep telling myself. I must focus with one thing at a time so that I, when I accomplish it, I go to the next step. So another thing is, uh, yeah, is that discipline and focus. And always ready to learn when when you don't know something yeah yeah and and now speaking like seeing all of us here and now we are about uh like me and david will be graduating next year and you felix you have graduated it's something that makes me think where where could we have been if we had not met moja too because we could not have been able to achieve this because we all know that university is expensive uh, but through the support of moja too we have been able now to complete our study and we are looking forward to achieve our goals and this is something that i'm so grateful for and i thank moja too for what they are doing changing many people's lives so felix what i would like to ask you is uh what are some wh what would you advise like our students who are in secondary and university who are still pursuing their dreams and hoping to be able to become great people what advice would you give to them yeah um what i would advise them is that uh, uh, to be focused and mm -hmm. the the first thing in their lives is uh, discipline because discipline we use it in everywhere in workplace in, a, in education in social life even in marriages and relationships <laughs> in everywhere even in churches you must have discipline yeah. so discipline is the first thing that can make someone succeed even about saving when you talk about saving money you you must be disciplined because mm -hmm. if, you, if you're not disciplined you are going to take that money away and spend it you see so the first thing for us it will be uh, yeah. discipline and focus and uh, try to relate with other people so that they help you where you can't and they assist you when you have a problem and it, it, it was, uh, the kind of problem is uh, like social problem uh, mm -hmm. some of the time even it can be a political problem where it's where about, it's about your security yeah. a lot of things uh, mostly what i what i can talk about is about um the education this is the main thing we are talking here so you must mm -hmm. be disciplined so that yeah. you can pass your examinations you can make sure you are not repeating uh, another semester and uh, you have qualified with the right uh, yeah yeah grade like uh, for me i have graduated with the, with the second class upper class yeah yeah second upper class wow. congratulations and to, yeah and i'm very happy for that and i can say i really worked hard yeah yeah uh, I would like to add on that. Uh, it is clear that Felix, you have been doing small things uh, in, a, in, a, in a consistent way. And that's why you, are, you have been able to achieve a second class upper, upper division. Yeah. Of course, uh, small things matter. And mm -hmm. sometimes we see like uh, uh, the small thing that we are doing is not adding value, but in the long run, it always adds value and uh, it takes discipline as you have said and also consistency yeah and uh, uh having also a self discipline yeah self discipline yeah that's that's what matters yeah and the process uh, we focus on the process more than the outcome because when you focus yeah. on the process and uh, the outcome will, will, will come by, by itself yeah mm -hmm. that's uh, yeah. that's something that we would like to add yeah, because uh, how do we do one thing is how we do everything. So, uh, yeah. like even knitting your bed every morning, that's a, a very small thing, but 
shows you are responsible yeah. other than being messy like the way you have woken yeah. up just yeah mm. it always say hey, everything always matters and how you do one thing is mm. always how you do everything so everything you are doing in your life or it is always it will affect your education also yeah because you have yeah. seen yeah. You have, yeah. in our in moja too also they are uh, we started uh, very many people but you can mm. see those who are graduating are a few number it's because of those small small things yeah and it affects even our education uh, that's something yeah. we should also always focus on yeah yeah and another thing that has been so fundamental to us is that we have the mentorship program in mozatu uh, which as you enter your final year in university, you are taken through certain aspects like how to make a good CV, how to apply for jobs. So this is something that has really prepared us for the market job. And I'm so thankful because we have good mentors who guide you each and every week on how you can tackle maybe, for example, if you have an issue with how do I apply for jobs? Because it's not easy if yeah. like, this is a new phase in your life. It's something that you are starting. But having those mentors was so fundamental to me. So Felix, were you able to like join the mentorship program and how did you benefit from it? I am thankful, first of all, to Anderson. Anderson has been one of the, the key mentors in, in, in the program mm -hmm. uh, from, from 2019, yeah. So he has been there and he has, uh, he has taught me a lot of things and mostly about the CV writings and application of the jobs and how to network with the people. Because what is helping right now in the world is about connecting the people. When you don't connect, even if you have certificates, you have a lot of skills, you'll not be able to maneuver. Yeah. 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 And David, what, what would you say that the mentorship programs have enabled you to do like what are some of the skills that you have gotten uh uh one of, uh, one of my in, in, in mentorship call we did a mock mm -hmm. interview and it was great it was a great one uh having that having that experience of having an interview uh with someone i don't know like it was it was uh i was nervous of course at the first time but mm -hmm. uh, as i went on i, I had some confidence and it, it helped a lot uh, yeah, i believe you know, when when i'll be going for interviews and everything i'll be at least one step ahead of someone who have not done anything uh, like that yeah. and it's because of mentorship yeah and mm. it's a great great thing yeah thank you moja too for everything for us. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as we conclude, we would like to thank Mojatu for their support. Uh, this far that we have reached is because of the support of our donors, our partners, and all those people who are involved in Mojatu. Thank you so much for changing lives, and we hope you to see. We hope to see you in our next session. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.